I guess YouTube doesn't like me because I'm talking about Cold War, Old Germany, and wars. But today, I will tell you about Graf Zeppelin, the most popular and well-known aircraft carrier in the world. Although the aircraft carrier in the German Navy was popular, it did not engage in any combat. It was Germany's first and only aircraft carrier not to enter service. I will talk about the story and technical features of this ship. The story of this aircraft carrier begins in the 1930s. Adolf Hitler promised that Germany would have a strong navy before he came to power. Adolf Hitler wanted to have a navy that could defeat England. Hitler wanted this navy to have around 100 large and small warships, 250 submarines, and 8 aircraft carriers. After Hitler came to power, he immediately took action to realize this dream and the aircraft carrier project started in 1935. The first of these aircraft carriers, of which eight were planned to be built in total, was launched in 1938. Actually, the ship was lowered, but neither the engine was running nor the weapon systems were ready yet. Later, it was towed to the shipyard harbor and its construction continued. Hitler loved this aircraft carrier, but there were some who were against it. One of those who opposed the aircraft carrier was German Air Force Commander Hermann Wilhelm Göring. Goring did not like aircraft carriers, of course, for good reason. Goring wanted to take command of all German aircraft, but once aircraft carriers were built, separate aircraft would be produced for the Navy. These conflicts continue today between Air Force commanders and Navy commanders. That's why Goring was against this ship and at the same time did not want Germany's resources to be wasted here. Goring and his supporters tried to persuade Hitler not to build ships, saying that the ships would consume too many resources. Hitler was convinced and construction of the aircraft carrier was stopped in 1940. The weapon systems on the aircraft carrier were dismantled and some of these weapons were used in new projects and some were sent to the Soviet Union where they were friends at the time. The emptied Graf Zeppelin was towed to the harbor and used as a warehouse. After an unfortunate event, Graf Zeppelin came to the fore again. After Germany's legendary warship Bismarck was sunk, some generals in the German army wanted the Graf Zeppelin to be rebuilt. In 1942, the Graf Zeppelin was started to be rebuilt, but it was too late. Germany was on the defensive and resources were exhausted, and by 1943 Hitler canceled all aircraft carrier projects. Likewise, it started to be used as a warehouse until 1945. In 1945, Germany was occupied. The Soviets were advancing from the north and were capturing all ports belonging to the German army. As you can imagine, the captured ports also contained the aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin. The Soviets repaired this ship and towed it to their home port. The Soviets' aim was to finish the construction of the Graf Zeppelin and use it as an aircraft carrier, but the United States and Britain were vehemently opposed to this. Because of this ship, there was a long diplomatic crisis between America and the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union gave up using this ship and sank the Graf Zeppelin in 1947. The sinking of this ship is also very interesting. In fact, it was a message that the Soviets wanted to give to the West. Instead of blowing it up and burying it in the sea, the Soviets made it a training target. The subject of the training was how the Soviet Union would destroy an aircraft carrier when it attacked. There was no news of this sunken ship until 2006. In 2006, a Polish company conducting oil exploration activities in the Baltic Sea found this ship by chance. If you want, let me talk about the technical features of this aircraft carrier. The Graf Zeppelin was an interesting aircraft carrier, the purpose of which was slightly different from that of England, America, and Japan. While these countries used their aircraft carriers as a floating airbase, Germany designed the Graf Zeppelin as a warship capable of carrying aircraft. That's why the Graf Zeppelin was heavily armored and armed compared to other aircraft carriers. For this reason, while other aircraft carriers could carry 80 to 90 aircraft, the Graf Zeppelin could carry a maximum of 42 aircraft. No new aircraft was developed for the Graf Zeppelin, but rather modified aircraft used by the Air Force. The planes would take off with the catapult system. The Graf Zeppelin weighs 33,550 tons and is 262 meters long. 
There were four turbine engines, and these engines produced a total of 200,000 horsepower. Thanks to these engines, this ship could reach a speed of 62 kilometers per hour. The Graf Zeppelin can reach a range of 9,200 miles with 42 warplanes and 1720 personnel. The hull of this aircraft carrier was covered with 45 millimeters of armor steel, and the sides were sheathed with 100 millimeters of armor steel. In total, there were 50 anti-aircraft guns. Indeed, the Graf Zeppelin was an aircraft-carrying warship. At that time, most ships did not have the weapon systems and armor protection that the Graf Zeppelin had. Had most of Germany's weapon systems been produced earlier, it could have truly changed the tide of the war. Like the STG-44, the Panther tank, or the V-2 rockets. However, I cannot say the same for the Graf Zeppelin because Germany designed this ship as a warship capable of carrying aircraft. The current task of aircraft carriers is to support other units at sea, participate in attacks, or protect the fleet. The Graf Zeppelin, on the other hand, would be able to attack alone at sea. And it seems to me that if this ship had been built it would have sunk in a few months at the most. Moreover, Germany's biggest problem since the beginning of the war was always the source. And as you know aircraft carriers are very costly and costly. The German economy did not have the resources to manufacture and maintain these aircraft. Thanks for watching.